Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. In this video, we are going to be talking about stashinvest.com. Okay, some of you guys might know this application is called Stash. And yeah, they've done a lot of advertisement. Yes, they sponsored a lot of people. This is not in a sponsored video at all. But I wanted to share with you guys how I use it okay how i use it and how i actually made some money out of it right by by using stash now the reason why i started using stash was because i said you know what i want to create an account like a little savings account right for my son ethan and for my other son uh jason and i said you know what uh, let me see what's out there right let me see what's out there i could go ahead and open up a little savings account but that money's never gonna get anywhere because <laughs> it's like point zero 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 five percent on interest. So you really, you know, even if you put a lot of money in there, like you're you're not gonna uh, make any money out of it, right? Um, it's not gonna grow. Period. Okay. So what I decided to do was I opened up a, a stash account early on uh, this year. Okay. And so far, what I've been doing is I've been just you know, every week I put in like $50 in one stock, $50 in another one, $100 here, $100 here and there, etc. Okay. And it's actually been pretty damn good. Okay. I'm surprised. So I'm going to show you guys my results. And once again, I'm showing you this not for you guys to say, hey, go sign up to Stash because I don't get anything uh, from Stash. I am going to put a link below if you do decide to sign up. Um, I think I get like $5 or something like that. Um, but I'm just showing you guys I'm not sponsored. I'm not connected to it. It's just I, I just found out they actually do have like an affiliate program to it. So I might as well get a bag. You know what I mean? Like I'm this is like free promotion for them. But what's cool is that I'm actually promoting this not for like hey guys go sign up but more of in the sense of like look what happened to me right like this is a real case okay because you'll see a lot of people that tell you hey go sign up to this then go do this and that but they've never used it okay so i'm gonna show you guys my account and what i've actually invested on okay so so far this year i put in about eight thousand and seventy nine dollars or something like that right or no i put in like seven thousand something i can't remember the exact amount okay but i've actually gotten a return of ten percent which is not bad bro you know so i put in like seven thousand and not in one shot i just put in like fifty dollars here a hundred dollars here and there so like weekly i probably do like two hundred fifty dollars or something like that and then by the end of the year I got $987 back, you know, with the portfolio's return. Okay. So it's actually pretty damn cool. Now I can show you guys here exactly what I put my money on. So weekly, I put a hundred dollars on, on this thing, American innovators, which has Apple Inc, Microsoft, or Visa Inc, a couple of different ones. Okay. As you can see, it's been growing, right? guys i'm not a financial guy i don't know about stocks I, I don't really know uh much of this right but to me it makes sense it's like instead of you buying a whole stock you just buy a piece of it okay so you could start with five dollars you could start with ten dollars and just like every day or every week you you buy just a little bit more a little bit more okay and at least you're you're part of you know part of this this whole economic system that we have here in the united states okay so it's actually pretty cool right um but like i said they have apple inc microsoft corp visa intel corp mastercard cisco adobe inc oracle corp salesforce.com um, business machines okay so that's one of them that's the one that i have american innovators so this year so far i made 15 percent on my investment which is not bad uh, from there I have Facebook and I think I should have been dropped Facebook but I love Facebook so much <laughs> that I I keep it there and I continue to buy even though like as you can see I put in like a thousand six hundred forty four dollars and I only made eighty four dollars back in in a return as far as profits you know um, it hasn't been that great this year hasn't been that great for facebook so maybe i should stop it at some point um 
one that I should have been putting way more money is AMD. And you know what? I'm going to put it. I'm going to put here to invest $50 more. Okay. Place order. Do this right now live with you guys. Okay. Confirm. Okay. And let's see. What's it? Share. I don't even know how this work. Okay. So I guess you can share this. And this is, this is the link that I'm going to give you guys. I'm going to put this here on the side. <laughs> uh to see whoever wants to sign up you can sign up if not it's fine okay but definitely check it out okay now let's continue to the next one yeah so like i said i should have definitely been putting more money into amd because i believe amd is 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 going to places right now like <laughs> like the stock i had this stock when i used to have robin hood right i used to use robin hood a lot uh, back in the days and i bought the stock when it was like you know when was it 2016 yeah i bought it at two dollars right and i had a lot of stocks from amd and then i sold it when it was like at 14 and then i kind of left robin hood alone because i made a mistake i was trying to use uh robin hood like day trading like i would go in the morning and see what was going on and see what stocks is about to go up and stuff like that and i actually lost a lot of money i lost like i don't know like three thousand dollars and then i said you know what every other stock i'm just gonna lose money on it so i sold it if i would have just stuck with it bro look at that like now is that what 38 dollars bro i had like i swear bro i had at least 200 300 stocks from amd i don't know how much is that let's see let's let's bring out the calculator i think it was like 270 something so let's say 270 stocks times 38.93 okay that's ten thousand dollars right there i would have had it <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is you live in and you learn okay um and i learned that i, I don't want to be doing stock trading and, and things like that i just go in and use something like stash something that is just like hey i'm investing into this like five fifty dollars ten dollars twenty dollars whatever it is without having to like be on top of it and it's like okay what whatever right <laughs> like that's how i look at this i'm like i use this for what it is i'm not trying to be a uh you know a guy that's on top of stocks every single day is like i have this automatically uh set up and at the end of the the year i like to look at how much we made out of that okay so here you go another one that i have is apple yeah i know i'm a apple fanboy yeah you could call me that <laughs> okay i should have definitely put more money into this like look i spent so much money on on facebook this year like i'm about to stop like i'm about to stop facebook <laughs> uh, i'm gonna stop putting money into facebook i'm just gonna leave it there at sixteen hundred dollars and just start focusing more on on apple okay but yeah so apple is up 30 percent, which is crazy you know that's not bad if i would have put in a thousand into this that would have been three hundred dollars okay um i also have this other one which is called young money Okay, you already know why I'm CMB cash money. <laughs> nah. Every time I think about your money, I'm thinking about Lil Wayne. Okay, so then from there we have Apple Inc. Okay, we got Fizzer. I don't even know what's that. Walt Disney. We got Costco, Starbucks, Nike, Facebook, uh, Alphabet Inc., uh, Equity Residentials, Home Depot. Okay, let me see what's the returns looking like on this one. 12% is not bad. Okay but as you can see i kind of stopped it once again i should have just instead of putting it into facebook i should have just put in here on your money it would have been better um but it is what it is okay and then now i just started with alphabet okay and i might start with amazon so you know what let me see do they have amazon here i just don't know about amazon i'm not gonna add anything about amazon because it's amazon is gonna grow but it's, it's like it grows very small i feel like amazon has already gotten as big as this is going to be see like year to date 13 percent. like it's not bad but at the same time it's like it's so expensive and and at the same time it's only going like 13 percent. you know what i mean like that's not even that much but when you look at things like apple bro like apple amd 
bro, 20, 30 percent. That's not bad. So imagine this. You putting a thousand dollars earlier in the year and you could have probably made, you know, two hundred dollars, you know, right? So two hundred dollars out of every thousand dollars that you put in. Same thing for this one for Apple. You would have made, you know, three hundred dollars out of every thousand dollars that you put in. Like, that's not bad. Apple is Apple, kids. And not even that. Year to date has, has gone up 72%, bro. Like, <laughs> like, as you guys can see, I didn't even start in the beginning of the year. If I would have started in the beginning of the year, I would have had 72%. I started somewhere in the middle of the year and I already have, you know, $7,000 in there. Okay, which is not bad. This is like money that you are investing that instead of you paying a, a a bullshit bill or signing up to some bullshit subscription out there you subscribe to this it's like you're saving your money you're investing into the stock market investing into different stocks and you're investing little by little piece by piece piece by piece you know i'm going to continue having this account and hopefully in the next five ten years we could come back and look at how much we you know we made from stash you know I, i'm planning on keeping stash around because it's just, it's actually pretty good, right? You know, 10% on your, you know, 10% on your investment, that's not bad. You come in, you put in some money into some stocks that, that you believe in. Like I said, this is stocks that I believe in, right? American Innovators, uh, Facebook, right? I believe on AMD. I believe on a Apple. I believe on Alphabet, okay? Those are stocks that I believe in. But like I said, you know, kind of sucks that Facebook hasn't been doing that great this year. Um, but I'm not losing any money at all. Like, as you can see all of this here, I'm actually, um, getting a, a nice return. 15%, 5%, uh, let's see this one, 20%, 30%. You see, like, that's not, not bad at all, at all, at all, at all. You know, I'm putting in a hundred dollars weekly on this, which is like what? 400, uh, $400 a month, which is not bad to get a 15%. Uh, return and at any moment i can just basically transfer my money out and send it to my my account and that's it and then they actually send you like a uh how you call this like a tax uh information so you could actually put it in for your taxes so it's actually pretty damn good definitely look into this guys if you're interested i'm gonna leave a link below on my description let me know what you think. Do you use Stash? Do you use something else out there? Maybe you use Robinhood and what you are actually um, investing on. And let me know. I'm kind of interested. I would like to know what you guys are actually investing on. And do you see any stocks that are good? Maybe something that I could buy into. If you are more knowledgeable in that, that sense, right, of that world of stocks and, and all this stuff, right, let me know, okay? But by the way, I'm going to leave a link below in case you decide to do sign up. At least I get a little kickback because I, I put you on, okay? <laughs> all right, I'm going to try to do this every year. Every year, we're going to see how much this thing grows, okay? I'm going to have this thing automatically. Um you know, like I said, this is like four hundred dollars a month. This is what uh, two hundred forty uh, per month. This is a hundred dollars per month that I've been putting in. This is fifty dollars, so that's like what that's like two hundred dollars a month. Okay, uh, this young money. I haven't scheduled anything for the young money. Maybe we should schedule something. Invest more. Let's say start with $50 confirm schedule okay place order and like I said what's cool about this is that at any moment you could you know you could come in and and actually you know get get your money out okay <laughs> you could sell it and then you just send it right back to your uh, bank account okay so definitely check it out um by the way guys like I said it's gonna be in the description a link to sign up so at least you you give me a little kickback uh, for signing up um, definitely do that and if you're interested in learning how to code guys definitely check out my website codingphase.com we have everything that you need to become a developer everything that you need to start making money online as a developer I'm teaching you everything that I know okay you know I'm not a, a stocks type of dude right like this is not what I do but what I do do <laughs> 
<laughs> is I do programming, right? And web development. Okay, this is my bread and butter. This is what I'm nice with. Okay, so if you want to check out the courses, definitely check it out. We have a $20 per month and you get all my programming courses. If you're looking for having information on how to make money online and maybe freelancing, uh, getting access to the ASAP developers group, all this stuff, right? For a dollar and eight cents, right? I'm pretty sure if I'm not uh incorrect right now, bring out the calculator. So it's three ninety seven for the whole year divided by three sixty five is a dollar and eight cents. And it's basically a dollar, but the reason why I'm adding the eight cents is for sales tax. Okay, it is what it is. Sales tax is something that happens in this world. <laughs> All right, so definitely check it out, guys. When you are interested in this let me know um and like i said leave a comment below tell me what you guys think even if you just survive to the end just say i survived to the end joe okay i'll see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com